What's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? It's OG Serve talking shit on top of one of these speed doodles, speed pain, speed drawing, whatever you want to call it. I decided to approach these uh, videos in a totally different format. And I decided to also give uh, people a breakdown on how a nigga be pipping this pen. So, yeah, and today we are drawing one of my hometown heroes, Mr. Motherfucking Chi World 1234. So let's get into it, man. First and foremost, man, always have your reference photos ready. I start off with uh, this thing called the ball and jaw method. Really, I start off with drawing the nose, as you see there in the red outline. I always try to draw the nose first so I can go ahead and figure that out because that's uh, one of my anatomy weak points. Then once I figure that out, I end up going over it again with the, uh, with the outline of the head and the shoulders. And since this is a, a bust style portrait, a bust is a portrait where you draw from like the chest on up or the shoulders on up. Uh, once I figured out the outline of that, then I started going in and trying to figure out the shape of the hair. And uh, that's that's the dope thing about art where like, you know, I believe some people get intimidated by drawing things like robots or even people. Like everything is a shape, bro. You know, as you've seen, uh, outline in green as I was drawing cheese hair, you know, so I just approached it with a big ball I broke it down into sections. I basically uh, Drew noodles for the hair and yeah, I just kept going like that. So then you know <clears throat> We started getting into the details of the face. I know some people probably gonna be talking shit like oh this nigga just tracing Bro, let me tell you something Even with these style uh, photos that you see me Chi, or any other artist on the internet or in the world doing this shit You have to have some kind of anatomical foundation to understand and to go in and know how to place things, place uh, landmarks on people's face to where like it don't look crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know that the eye, you have to approach everything as though it's a, it's a 3D shape. You know what I'm saying? None of us is 2D. You know what I'm saying? You can see the lips don't look flat. The eyes don't look flat. You gotta know the, the certain length between the, the ears and the head. You know what I'm saying? Like this comes with time, this comes with study, and this comes with motherfucking dedication. So I'm still figuring out the landmarks. I wasn't really satisfied with if you see me going back through it and I'm erasing a lot of shit, if I'm drawing the same thing a hundred times as you'll see in future videos, it's because like I keep drawing or I keep sketching it until it makes sense to me. And so now we're moving into the inking phase. Apparently, I'm really satisfied with how this turned, with how the sketch turned out. I don't try to spend too long on the sketch. I leave it kind of messy, but I also am bad at trying to get like final results in the. Uh, in the sketch but then eventually i flip a key in my brain i'm like you know what? we can figure out the details of shit with the inking as you see here now i'm going through getting down on the hair and drew the beard and figured out the nose the eyes you know what i'm saying and we just rolling we just rolling at this point i gave my homie uh i basically researched with the the art palette <clears throat> Look at the emoji was on Google and I said, man, I want to give him a chain. I didn't want to give him no regular ass chains. I said, man, I'm gonna give him a uh, a paint palette chain. And that's why, you know, right now I'm going through and I'm inking that thing. And I was like, you know, and then also like I try to plan out a lot of pieces before I get down on them, but I also embrace the freedom in that. You know, saying so I'm a god, you know, I'm a creator and I can make this shit up on the fly. You know, I'm not uh, limited to, you know, so my thinking or what anybody else thinks about how I'm approaching this shit. I'm drawing this shit for me, you know what I'm saying? And also to, you know, satisfy the, the muse or hoping that the person that I am drawing or the object that I'm drawing or even the, the community that embraces and that fucks with me. You know, so I'm, I'm really drawing, hoping that, uh you know, y'all enjoy this as well. Now we're getting down in the coloring phase and uh, I try to uh, use the wand to on the out on the outline of the the ink i also use multiple layers i rename my layers because i am bad about coloring on the wrong motherfucking layer so after i use the wand to i hit it up with the ink as i after i use the wand to on the ink layer i put on the flesh color then i start coloring the eyes and really it, there is no particular order in which i color i just make sure to like every little thing that i feel like needs to be on a separate layer is on a separate layer the, the jury is on a separate layer the eyes or the face all the landmarks on the face the eyes the lips you know what i'm saying all that is colored on a different layer uh i colored the hair on a different layer and the reason why i do that also is because you know when it comes to uh like the details you know what i'm saying i don't want to mix up 
you know what I'm saying, which layer I'm putting particular details on because like I have over 600 unnecessary brushes and so that means I end up uh, going back through and just playing with different textures. I like different look like this go around. Usually with these style portraits, I, uh, I try to keep them semi-realistic, but in the midst of this, in, mi in the midst of this one, I went for my anime style look. Like I'm figuring out the certain ways how I like drawing stuff. You know, that's one of the main tips I try to give fellow artists in the community. Is like, you know, saying the way how I draw eyes, you may not like it. The way how I draw titties, the way how I might draw teeth. You know, so everybody has a particular style that is a, a an accumulation of all our different influences, and so like that always comes out in our work. Like I love, uh, what's the cat that created Naruto? Damn, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank, but I love the creator of Naruto. I love uh, Ichiro Oda. Uh, I love the I love the One Piece series, man. I love cartoon shit from back in the day. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind exaggerating certain features because it's speaking from my artistic heart. So, you know, so now we're getting down on the shadows, man. I keep my shadow layers and highlight layers on two totally different layers. So, you know, once again, so I don't mess up the original layer that I'm coloring on and so I'm also trying out this new shading and highlight technique where like I'm taking the uh I think it's called a Porygonal lasso two and that's how like I'm getting them real jagged looking shapes I just be trying to freestyle stuff man I don't try to just limit myself to doing things a particular way I'm trying out different styles every time I do a piece because, you know, I just like different shit. You know, after a while, when you keep drawing shit the same way over and over, it gets boring. Or that's just me. But my routine and how I set up, uh, you know, drawing a piece or getting down on one is usually about the same. I always start out with the outline, uh, the outline of how the form looks. Then I approach it with a, another layer of, like, pencils of different colored pencils because, you know, I get I I personally I get confused trying to you know what I'm saying drawing everything straight up in one color pencil. It's like by me approaching the shit with different shades of different colors of pencil, I'm able to you know differentiate what I'm working on. And so now, as you see, I'm going back through the detail. I was going for like a half tone, screen tone look. And yeah, we towards the end, we're working on the background now. Getting down on that. And we're approaching the final piece, man. I want to thank every last one of y'all who made it to the end of this breakdown. Thank you for taking time out your day to check me out, man. Follow me on Instagram at syrup underscore summer. And yeah, thank you so much. Peace and blessings and have a great day.